Here's a first look at how Apple's making messages a whole lot better with iOS 16. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Apple is coming out with iOS 16 this fall and in it are a bunch of new features. I'm gonna give you a deep dive in this video on everything that is new with the Messages app. And there's a bunch of cool stuff from being able to edit and undo message sends to new keyboard interfaces to emoji stickers. It's a bunch of stuff to cover, so let's dive into all of it. It's time for a little sponsor shout out. Helping make this video happen is Clean My Mac X by MacPaw. Clean My has millions of users all around the globe in more than 185 countries, including at least one in Antarctica. My favorite feature about Clean My Mac is Smart Scan. It'll examine your system, log files, and user caches, and find things that are no longer needed to help free up space, and can run a quick malware check and optimizations to make sure your Mac is running as fast as possible in merely a few seconds. Space Lens is another amazing feature that allows you to see what files are taking up space on your Mac. With malware removal, you can scan your Mac for cryptocurrency miners, viruses, adware, and remove them all instantly. In total, Clean My Mac has nearly 50 built-in tools to keep your Mac clean, fast, and protected, all in a simple-to-use, gorgeous interface. As an exclusive offer to you all, you can receive 5% off a year subscription to Clean My Mac. Use the link down below for 5% off, and this offer is only good until June 30th, so act now and get that discount. And just one more thing, Clean My Mac is designed and built by MacPaw, which is based in Ukraine, and despite all the ongoings in the country, there's been zero disruptions in their service. I cannot thank them enough for sponsoring this video and making it happen. If you haven't already, follow the link down below, get a discount, and try Clean My Mac X. Now, let's go back to our video. So here I am inside of the Messages app in iOS 16. I'm first gonna go ahead and send a totally normal text over to Wesley. And once that is sent, I just realized I just said Ipsum Lorem, and I meant to say Lorem Ipsum. But fortunately, I can long hold it and tap Edit. You can now edit messages within 15 minutes of sending them, and I can readjust this to properly say lorem ipsum inside of this message. Once I've actually edited the message, you can see below where it has the read receipt. It also now says edited to mark when a message was edited versus the original message that was sent. Besides editing messages, you can also undo sending messages also within 15 minutes and there's that really neat animation to go along with it when that message is essentially deleted. If you ever want to mark something as unread, you can do that now just by the main menu and swiping to the right and tapping that icon. Now it'll remind you to go back to it at a later point. Before Wes and I started talking, I had a few messages that I deleted just from prior conversations. Now with iOS 16, you can recover recently deleted messages for up to 30 days. They're all the way back inside of the filters, but there is now an option for recently deleted to recover messages that you had deleted previously. It's really handy if you ever want to clean this out and then you just remember, oh, you needed something, you need some information, something like that, you can go back to and recover it. It's very handy. And if you're wondering what things look like on the other end when someone edits a message, you can see here that Wes edited that message from what it originally said and I get an icon or a notation to go with. Memoji stickers have been updated. There are six new poses here inside of the Messages app. These bottom two rows, the like kind of like maybe a chef's kiss one there, the talk to the hand, the yawning, the cuckoo dazed birds around the head, all of these new stickers are here inside of iOS 16. As you can see me demoing, there is a new dedicated audio app as part of iOS 16 that allows you to send short audio messages. And the last thing that I want to show here is how the new dictation feature works. 
I can tap on that icon in the lower right hand corner to enable dictation. But now it keeps the keyboard up at the same time. So as I'm typing or speaking with my words, I can go back and edit or add words. I can type and talk at the same time and it'll combine them into one full sentence. They've also improved things with punctuation. Just overall dictation is so much better here in iOS 16. Outside of all of that, Apple's also big into new developer APIs and collaboration with iOS 16. For example, when in a messages thread, you can invite everyone to work on a project together with you. It could be a group of Safari tabs, it could be a Pages or a Keynote document, or thanks to a new API, it can be any third-party app that supports this new collaboration feature, whether in messages or in FaceTime. Anytime someone is working on a collaborated document, all those changes will be shown right in the messages feed, making it easy to track what's going on. What's true for collaboration is also working with SharePlay. So before you could jump into SharePlay stuff with FaceTime, say you're watching a movie together, but you didn't always want to be face to face while watching a movie. Now you can stream shows together, but do it inside of messages so you can chat and talk while watching content together. I think this is gonna be a big difference. I didn't always wanna be on FaceTime, but I love the ability to do it via messages. Then we have new shared for shared with you API changes. So Apple added this into its own native applications with iOS 15. Anytime someone shared a news article with you, there'd be a featured shared with you section inside of the news app. Same thing for music and podcasts and even Safari. But now this will work with third party apps that integrate this API. So maybe somebody shares a recipe with you, it could show up in Paprika or whatever recipe manager you like. If somebody shares with you a podcast link to another podcast player, it could show up in a shared for you section of that third party podcast. There's a lot of possibilities here and I'm pretty excited to see what developers decide to do with it. So that is it. Those are all the new features for messages coming as part of iOS 16. Of course, things could change by the time that iOS 16 is released, but this should give you a good idea of where Apple is going with its messaging application. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I have a lot more uh, videos of Apple's upcoming updates coming your way.